All right, we're just getting out of Solo, a Star Wars story, and I can say that it was really fucking good. Like, it didn't test the audience, it didn't challenge you, it was just set up to be a good, solid Star Wars story that connected in Clone Wars information, it connected in, um, like, I heard some people saying it connected in prequel stuff. At this moment, that's blanking on me. Um, but straight up spoilers, fucking Darth Maul and Kira are fucking working together. I, I can't get over how exciting that is for me. That is such a wonderful thought. Um, it, that creature, it, it was very reminiscent of, uh, uh, in the Maw, of the, uh, the whales out of Star Wars Rebels, which could have just been another reimagining of the same type of a creature, which is really interesting. Um, Han Alden Ehrenreich did an amazing job as Han. I never once thought, this is not Han Solo. It was always like, yeah, he's, he's doing a really decent job, and, and I, I, I was sold from like one second on screen and Donald Glover is uh, Donald Glover <laughs> is that right Donald yeah <laughs> I'm getting it mixed up with um, Danny. Danny Glover um, he was amazing as Lando Calrissian I mean absolutely spot on the I was surprised that we lost uh, the original TV crew Beckett's crew so early. I really wanted to get more of all of them because they were all so wonderful for the time that they were on screen. But even L3, I was surprised. I read Last Shot. I thought she was going to be in it longer. I wasn't stunned. Um, someone said something about uh, the Millennium Falcon and L3, and I immediately pieced the two together, so I saw that one coming. But... I mean, it was just really nice seeing uh, Terrace Cossie brought back. It was really nice seeing Han develop into the scoundrel that we all know and love. And they, they have to make sequels to this or a prequel or something because I want more Maul. If they're gonna tease Maul in a fucking movie, I wanna see more of it. I wanna see Kira, I want tons more of her. Entha's nest was fantastic. I love that she's connected, the Cloud Riders are connected with the Rebellion. Uh, it's all so, <laughs> it wasn't super thrilling. There were moments of humor that I really enjoyed, but it was really just enjoyable. I had just a great time. I had to pee through the whole movie and I didn't wanna leave, so. It's probably gonna affect me, like, moving into the future, make it harder for me to get an erection. Sorry, honey, but it was worth it to sit through this movie and watch it all. Man, I, it was a great show. Solo, you must see it. I'm gonna see it tomorrow morning at 11.30. I already got the tickets. God damn it. Great show. Good job, Ron Howard. And you know what? Fuck The Last Jedi. Fuck the, the sequel series that they're making because these standalones are kicking the shit out of what they're fucking up with the Skywalker saga. And it makes it so worthwhile. Oh, God damn it. And now I'm thrilled for the prospect of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, God, if they make that and they make the same connections. Holy shit. All right, I can't wait to see what Cameron has to say and uh, chat with you guys later.